posted a video on how to make barbecue for your dog. But the table still looks a little empty. So we're going to add a few cookout favorites like watermelon, chips, a cooler filled with cold soda, and fresh baked pie. To make the watermelon, we're going to need the following items. A pink sponge, glue, water, toilet paper, craft paint, a toothpick, foil, cardboard, the hot glue gun, and Mod Podge. The first thing we're going to do is cut a circular shape out of the sponge. Then we're going to cut at an angle. We're going to try to create a, a bowl shape from the side. Now to do that, I'm actually going to hot glue scrap pieces of sponge on there. It's going to look like a cut watermelon when it's all done. And then I'm going to trim it a little bit to get the uh, shape a little better. It doesn't have to be perfect though. So once I have it shaped up, I'm going to apply glue generously to the round side. So I'm going to leave the flat side alone though. I'm going to take toilet paper and actually lay it across as tightly as I can uh, the round side of our sponge. Apply a little water to your fingertips so that it won't get too dry. I'm going to keep layering sheets of toilet paper around there. Now we're going to make the tray. I'm going to sketch out the size of the tray and make a little space for the tabs. Then I'm going to cut and fold. This tray is where we're going to keep our watermelon while it's drying because it takes a long time for that uh, sponge to dry. Now that I have the basic uh, shape of the tray, I'm just going to cover it with foil. And there's our tray. So after a couple of hours, the sponge should be dry enough to cut the edges off. And then we're going to paint. I'm using a light color green. I'm tapping the paint to give it a nice texture. And then with the toothpick, I want to apply a darker shade of green by um, drawing a little line and then rolling the toothpick back and forth to put the little stripes in our watermelon. Then with the other end of the toothpick I'm going to use black paint and put the seeds in there. I also made a single slice the same way I cut a small piece of sponge Cover everything in a layer of Mod Podge to seal it all. Put it in our tray and we add it to our table. Now the next thing that we're going to add is our cooler filled with cold drinks. We're going to need cover stock of thick paper, cardboard, craft paint, buttons, glue, Mod Podge, the hot glue gun, and a paper clip. First we're going to uh, sketch out with the uh, bottom all four sides in a tab to close it all up. We're going to cut and fold. And then we're going to glue the tabs down so that it makes a nice box. I'm going to glue cardboard around our little box leaving a little space at the bottom. Then we're going to paint it and cover it with a layer of Mod Podge. Then we're going to take two buttons, hot glue them together, paint them black, and glue it to the bottom of our cooler to be wheels. To make the lid, I'm basically going to do the same thing except I painted it white and I used a paper clip to make a little handle. And the cooler is all done. Now it's time to fill our cooler up with soda. To make soda cans, we need recycled computer paper, a glue stick, a toothpick, buttons, glue, silver paint, a sales ad, and clear tape. We're going to cut the computer paper and using our glue stick, we're going to glue it around a toothpick. Next, we're going to paint the ends with silver paint. We're going to check our sales ad and find a nice photo of soda to use as a label. We're going to cut that out, wrap it around our can, 
and then cover it with clear tape. I use clear plastic and put it in our cooler. Then I put our cans in and also some clear beads which could be ice. I also found this little container from the fast food shop. Just empty that out and it makes a perfect little spot to keep your cold drink. Next we're going to make chips. To make the chips we need our sales ad, colored paper, glue stick, clear tape, pillow fluff, or a cotton ball, or toilet paper. I'm going to cut out some chips from our sales ad. And using our glue stick, I'm going to glue it onto colored paper. I'm going to fold it in half and then cut. Now I'm going to use something to stuff it, pillow fluff, a cotton ball, toilet paper, it doesn't matter. Once you get it stuffed, you close it up with clear tape. Lastly, we're going to make some pie. We're going to need a bottle cap, aluminum foil, cardboard, toilet paper, glue, water, craft paint, the hot glue gun, makeup or chalk pastels, and Mod Podge. First we're going to select the size by selecting a bottle cap. I'm going to cut the bottle cap so we can use it. If the rim is a little wider then we can cut and trim that. Next, we're going to use foil to cover the bottle cap, and that's going to be the pie pan. Next, I'm going to cut out some circles of cardboard and hot glue it into the bottle cap. Now, I'm mixing up purple and red to make a berry color, so we'll have a berry pie. But you can choose whatever color you want. You can make a blueberry or strawberry or cherry, whatever color you want. Now to make the crust, we'll be using toilet paper, glue, and water. We're going to apply glue to a thin strip of toilet paper. And start to lay it across our pie pan. You have to be very careful because the wet paper breaks very easily. So we laid it across and you trim the edges. Apply, apply glue to the rim and use more toilet paper to be the crust. That's going to take a while to dry but afterward you use makeup or chalk pastels to brush it and give it a baked look. And then lastly, you're going to apply a little tiny drop of hot glue in the open spaces to make it look like a really gooey, soft pie filling. I cover it with Mod Podge. And put it on the table so the table looks a lot more full and it has a lot more great items on there. 